Okay, this is going to be a quick unboxing video of some products or a product that I purchased from RTG Parts and they are in Peoria, Arizona. So let's quickly open this box up and see exactly what we have on the inside. There you go. Okay, packing slips nice and on top. And nice plastic or styrofoam peanuts, which I have to admit that out of all of the packing material, I dislike the styrofoam peanuts. I dislike it the most. They're pretty annoying. They get all over the place. They full of static cling and everything else that goes along with it. Uh, they're not perhaps the most environmentally friendly and what we have here are aluminum HK HK 91 or G3 20 round magazines so I was successful in my endeavor to purchase more uh, magazines for my sometime coming I'm not sure exactly when it is so it will be coming at some point in time uh, PTR 91 and that's the uh, PTR that's the PTR version of the German G3 okay so these look to be in uh, fairly decent shape from uh, all indications. Uh, they're covered in a nice bit of uh, oil or Cosmo and the production date on these or this particular one is 871 this one is 372 And this is 784. And I was just thinking about some of the upcoming proposed legislation and grandfathering and all the other speculation that's going on around the extended magazines, the so called um, um, high capacity magazines, is the fact that. Um, while I'm not an expert in every magazine out there, it seems as if the HK magazines, the ones for the uh, HK91 or G3, uh, all have dates stamped on them. Now, I can't say the same thing about the uh, government, the, the USGI, the uh, United States government issued magazines for the AR-15 uh, or the um, M1A. And... Um, other so-called military style rifles I don't know whether or not they actually have the uh, production dates on all of them but I think that these would be easier to um, track and justify as um, pre-specific date because you have the actual date uh, stamped onto the magazine itself so I think it would be easier to justify having these than uh, some of the other ones in the event that they do actually have a date certain after which you cannot buy those magazines or those magazines will no longer be uh, made available for us. Uh, obviously I'm hoping that that does not come to pass but um, as a prepper or semi-prepper or whatever, you know, preparing this guy, I, I guess I would actually uh, be referred to as, um, this is what you do. You prepare for any eventuality, uh, including getting extra magazines uh, whenever possible. Now, each one of these magazines cost a whopping $4.95 a piece, 
and so what you see here all told comes to 1485 of course shipping was almost as much as the uh, the cost so uh, all told this was twenty six dollars and twenty cents and that was from RTG parts and once again they are in Peoria Arizona alright thanks for watching and comments are welcome